Welcome to The Point of View. This is your favorite current affairs show here on The Point of View. We get the right guests, ask them relevant questions on issues that matter to you. And we have a special show tonight, entertainer, dancehall, artist, who's fast on his way to becoming a legend, possibly. He's joining us to talk about things that matter to him on an evening where we reflect on the power that music has for social change. It's going to be exciting. We are live. And I know a lot of your <laughs> uh, you, the Stoneboy fans, will be sending us your thoughts whilst he's on air with us. So we'll be dealing with all of that for the next 55 or so minutes. So when I come back, I'll be introducing to you Livingston Eche Satekla as we talk about his latest song, why we must protect the environment, why music is a cause for good, and why Africa must unite. Stay with us. Different era, better result. Time has changed and time has brought Kel Charcoal Toothpaste, healthy gums, anti cavity, fresher breath, and it whitens teeth. Charcoal toothpaste. Sankofa. Yenchi. Kill charcoal toothpaste. Happy, Happy smile. Enterprise life in your corner. They give solutions that make life easy every day. So now I can focus on my dreams. Miss Moko to Kumi Tibia Enterprise Life, what wants to share more? I don't know. Yan, who do you? Wolf. Hey! I shall go. I shall go, bro. We've got life. Dream big. Go on and dream big with us. Dream big with us. Enterprise, your advantage. <laughs> Welcome back. So tonight we want to bring you a big entertainer who is making waves all over the world. He's a big dancehall artist and he came from humble beginnings. Tonight he says he wants to talk to me on my show. He was in my office on my birthday to wish me happy birthday. He also came here a couple of days ago to speak about his new project, which he says he wants to help to save the environment. But he says, then today, I want to kind of speak to your point of view guests about why we can use music as a tool for positive change. It's called Stoneboy Livingston. Always a good name. <coughs> no, thank you very much. <laughs> I've never heard yeah. the name Livingston as a first name. It was always a surname. Oh, for real? Yeah. Maybe for the, for, for the foreigners, probably. So you are called Livingston Eche Satekla. Perfectly pronounced. I see. And where are you from? I'm from the Volta region of Ghana. Is it? Where, yeah. where are you born? I was born in Ashaiman. The headquarters of Ghana. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Not the capital. No, the headquarters of Ghana. I see. I see. Tell me about Ashaiman. How is the place? Ashaiman is a very beautiful place mm. in as much in, in the sense that it is diverse. It has, mm. you know, it's diverse in should I say culture? Mm. Yes, and ethnicity. Okay. Whereby you have the Ashantis, mm -hmm. the Nordness, especially the Airways because it's closer to the Volta region. <laughs> so if you so when they run away from the Volta region, the first place they come is Ashama. Exactly, you know, um, run away in the sense that surely, if their life know they go on, or you know, we are to all move to Accra, Kukesim. Okay. okay. So I think mm. it's pretty much dominated 
mm. by Voltarians okay. and 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 most and I think Northerners. Muslim okay. is like a religion. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. go there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And mm -hmm. more of the and it's a Ghan land anyway. So, so people speak Ghana. People speak, yes, yes, yes. speak Hausa, everything. Yeah, Dagomba, Zamanama. Wow. So if you live in a Shaiman or you grew up in a Shaiman, you have the tendency to be tough. Mm. Yes, please. What what kind of work do our mothers do there? What kind of professions do we have in Ashima? Trading. My okay. mother was a trader. Okay. You know, from uh, yeah, trading. She did all kaklo, sobolo. Wow. Like, what, oh, what? so your sobolo song? <laughs> uh, yeah, these are things you see I easily. See. Okay. On the streets and in mm. Ashima. So did, did she also send you to sell, but or you were going to school? I sold too. What did you sell? Oh, one time I'll follow my sister to sell kerosene. You see that last guy that is always not really selling like selling. Ah, so I can make kerosene. So you were selling kerosene? Yeah, we did. Ah, in I my see. house, anybody who knows me in real life, my house, we sold water to the area. Okay. And my daddy actually had like um, uh, uh, um, the con, the dikenika. Gateto. The gate. So we had the maize gate, the cassava gate, wow. you know. So my house was always full, wow. you know. But you never knew how to do the gutter business. I could. Oh, you could. I, I could. Ah, uh, oh, I really? would operate. You know, I never father now. You have to know how to do. <laughs> so sometimes I'm there. Really? I'm grinding the, the, the maize. I'm sometimes I go back and I pound the cassava. This is when I come back from school. I actually want to close from school early so I can go and help out because really? it was. You know. So when did you decide to become a musician? Um, I'd been doing music from the infant. I, I okay. mean, from when I was early. So they, mm. the, those traces were there. So as a born in a Christian home, I had always sing in church. And my father was like an elder in the church as well. Okay. So there was that responsibility on, you mm -hmm. know, the elders' kids. They will call you out to read the Bible. Must be good. To, to you know, summarize the preaching okay. and all these ones. So what church how, was your dad in? Can I mention? Oh, <laughs> <I'm not sure>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I have before, so deeper okay. life. Oh, okay. church, yeah. oh wow. No earring sentence. Yeah. So they'll come and claim you. They'll collect all your things. <laughs> <laughs> a long skirt. You know. Oh, wow. In Ashima. Yeah. I see. This is, I'm sure, early 2000s, late 90s. Yes, yes, late 90s. I, I hear you went to Medas. Yes, please. I see. How was Medas? Methodist Day was a nice feeling. I was the only student at the time that wore trousers. So oh. people couldn't really tell if I was a student or I was learning mechanic <laughs> or something else. <laughs> you know, because of my knee situation. Okay. So... So you went trousers because of that. Yes. So the, the school yeah. gave you a special dispensation. Yes. To I'm actually thankful to the headmaster. I mean, mm. amongst my close core, mm -hmm. we share those vibes. Um, a friend of mine, actually, when I had that, because of the accident, I couldn't go to the schools of my choice. So a friend of mine who was attending their classmate who had, so she, he's like, I never am school. So we went the same day and we told the headmaster. And apparently, when he saw my results, I was like, ah. Come already. Oh, wow. but this is the condition. Don't worry. Come to the wow. school. So what course did you offer? Um, business. Um, hey. Business accounting, yes. So and you are good. I did accounting one year. The way I ran it. Eh? You did business. So yeah, cost, business costing account. and those things. Yeah, business accounting. We had business costing, right? Or yeah. business accounting. Something so like I did that. Accounting, costing. yeah. But wow. I was not present too much at the accounting <laughs> period. <laughs> so at that time, yeah. was when you started experimenting with your music? Which is right. For, which is right. So a friend of mine actually forced me to get onto Kasahari. Okay. You know, so that was okay. where I got the airtime. Mm. And I thank Dr. Duncan a lot. Mm -hmm. it, mm. I believe that it's being divine what yeah. God has always planned. Yeah. There were to lots of boys who came to seek for opportunity. But when mm. the guy saw me, I was actually in clutches at the time because I was I still had my issues quite mm. quite intense. So mm. he saw it, they were like, ah, what can you do? Mm. Then I looked at my friend, I'm like, Do you bring me here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I went on and by the time I opened my mouth to do a thing or two, wow. it's like, Wow, so you can rap, you can sing, you can raga. So which wow. one do you want to do? So I did all three. Then there was one guy left who was um uh, who also did raga. So they paired us to start it all, we Is battled. It? That was Battle my first the winning year. <laughs> and may I share this? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's lessons of life. Mm. I think today that guy is still at Labadi Beach singing and begging for arms. Oh, wow. And anytime I mm. saw him or mm. anything, it takes me back and I'm thankful to God because this wow. same journey has wow. helped some people. On so the, the, so the whole thing was divine. The fact that 
you got into Medas, the fact that Dr. Duncan had done FM at the yeah. time, Tema, mm. because within that time, a lot of good people came from Tema too. Yeah, so yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah. there was, like there was uh, something yeah, happening something there. Something in Tema, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 true. So you used to walk from Ashaiman to yeah. Medas? Yeah, yeah. What about studios? Did you, when did you start trying to get into a studio to record something? Um, a cousin of mine who had come, with they just moved from Nigeria back. So, mm. I mean, at that age, I had computer at home. My dad mm -hmm. got us, you know, all these Dell computer compact. So I quite remember when I was in class four, I could find my ways around mm -hmm. computers. And then we will use that. Um, there's a recorder. Mm -hmm. So I'll play. I remember the Shaggy um, cassette or the Sean Paul cassette. Mm -hmm. And there were some small instrumentals, mm -hmm. you know. That you used to that do your... we did the things. As uh -huh. I would take my father's gospel. Uh, preaching, you we know, see the preach for church and be preaching cassette. And then you will record. be the new one, we get a filler. So oh, I'm going to carry the preaching oh, cassette oh, and Lord. double deck in the work. So, you know, side A and side B. So one time he and his elders were listening to <laughs> message. So, I'm going message, and I said, of course, side B. Then he started hearing, Lord. Some, Lord. Some young guys screaming into the thing. Oh, Lord. Also, I think I still have marks of that beating. Oh, he be <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So you were desperate to try things out in that in this ah, In my house, I was like, my sisters, I had their support, my mom. Mm. So I will just be singing, mm. going out loud. And I wow. see that in my kids. So me, I know that the thing is I have dead. a video of my son when he came back from school today. Wow. He was singing the new song. Already. <laughs> <laughs> wow. like, you did that like for 30 minutes so after wow. one bread or wow. torn or die. Amazing. You know? No, this is interesting. So it's good to have you today. I don't want to do too much. Some yeah. of this story we know already. I just wanted to show your new work before we talk about other things. So apparently it was released November 3, which is yesterday. Yes, Because I went on Spotify and uh, when I put your name in there, the first thing that came was Greedy Men. Yeah. Released November 3. Can we watch a bit of it? So... Mm -hmm. Where, where is, where is uh, Greedy Man? Please play for me to, <laughs> to, to see before I come to other things. So, uh, but why did you do a song? Okay, yeah, Let, let's go for it. Now, I'm sure some of you feel I, I moved too quickly to this, but I wanted to talk to him about this because that's the main reason why he's on here. He's quite passionate. So, why did you do a song on this? I mean, you've done songs on many things. Yeah. Mike Delilay and things. So yeah, why are you talking yeah. about Greedy Man? Um, the title may sound really, you know, attractive, but actually the content is very informative mm. where it's it's not referring to or trying to ridicule or um step on anybody's toes but actually throw light mm. on the reality of what is happening in some communities in ghana that mm -hmm. is affecting ghana as a whole mm -hmm. and this can be reciprocated in the rest of africa as well mm. you know and i feel like i'm saying it's an issue that I really feel strongly about, uh, and other issues that affect the environment. Because you watch the news and realize that sometimes they say, a few years to come, we might be importing water because the Tiwa forest is mining oxide and it's affecting the waterways. Maybe me in Accra today, I can find some Belacqua mm. and find something to drink, but somebody can't find something to drink over there. It hit me, especially when I did my Big Boss Energy Tour, mm. when I went all the way Boko in mm. the end. Mm. But when I saw certain things, I was really touched. Then I asked myself, yes, I sang Rango and the rest of those other conscious songs, but this would be yet another time to put this one also into, onto a record mm. and speak about it because... Is affecting you know, the, the what I like is your, your verse cyanide and mercury in the water. Mm -hmm. The lead is poisoning the water, the farmlands are chemicalized. And I don't know what to do. This is serious. So, basically, you're dealing with the science of uh, deforestation and galamse, and you talk about cocoa production. Did you go to these places to check out what's going on? Yes, I did a project also with um, Maso, okay, for cocoa something. So, mm -hmm. actually, I I, I've been there and researched and realized all this information, so I know that I know what I'm actually speaking about. And your conclusion is that is greed that is le that is letting this thing uh, yes. persist. Yes, please. Amazing. And you talk about the future of our children. You know, I did a campaign on Galamse. True. 2017. Yeah. Charlie, we shout. I lose wow. my voice. Wow. So I'm happy you've come, you've come back. <laughs> anyway, we have a surprise guest on the on the on the show to find out what he thinks about your song, because he also seems to be concerned about it. So I shouted about Galamse a few years ago, 
And he is also doing something about it. He's actually the uh, MP for Damongo and also the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. It's called, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's called Abu Jinapo. Wow. So he's joining us. He's actually <clears throat> in Scotland taking part in a very important uh, conversation, a uh, uh, conference. But he's joined us tonight to share a few thoughts on this <clears throat> Galamse fight. Honorable, good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening, my good friend, Bernard. How are you doing? And good evening to Stone Boy. Good evening, Honorable. Yes, sir. <laughs> are, are you still at the conference? Because you look very formal and serious. I thought by now they've closed. Uh, <laughs> I just got back from the conference, actually. Not wow. too long ago. So this is the climate conference? Yeah, this is the COP26. This is a conference of parties wow. for mm. the UNFCC. Have they asked you about Galamse deforestation and all those things yet? Oh, but deforestation is at the center of the whole climate action efforts. Um, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but um, forest contributes to 30% mm. of global emissions. And as they say, forest is the coat, the lungs of the earth, end quote. And so forest is key. I mean, yesterday, President Akufuado delivered a, a high-profile statement on land and forest use. In other words, how we're going to have to organize the forest sector in a manner that will contribute to halting climate change. And today, I've had a series of speaking engagements, uh, beginning with the... Um, uh, lowering of emissions by as relating forest finance, the LEAF coalition, of which uh, the U.S. envoy on climate change, Honorable John Kerry, raised the occasion, which is the attempt to raise financing to deal with forest and several other engagements. I mean, forest is, is key, is cardinal, and mm. of course, I seized the opportunity. And yesterday, President did so as well mm. to underscore our efforts in dealing with legal mining in Ghana mm. and, and how we think by so doing, we will come to grips with the issue of forest uh, <coughs> degradation and deforestation and thereby mm. contribute to the global efforts at halting climate change. So, mm. Kalamse and illegal mining is key. Mm. Yesterday was a busy day for you, so I'm not sure you've heard the song because he released the song yesterday. November 3, and that was quite one of the, the busy days in the conference. So I don't know if you've heard Stone Boy's new song, Greedy Men. Well, I've heard the, the snipers of it. It came to my attention yesterday. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to listen to the full version, but, but I, I, I did hear snipers of it. But that's even beside the point. I mean, let me use the opportunity to commend and thank uh, Stone Boy, my very good friend, for <laughs> this intervention and uh, to say to him that it's a very uh, noble and patriotic gesture that he's taking. As you know, as you know, Bernard, from the very beginning, on the instructions of President Akufuado, we've been working to ensure that our renewed commitment and effort to sanitize the small-scale mining sector is broad-based. And I'm sure this is a word I've used multiple times that is broad-based, is um, uh, multifaceted, it galvanizes all the stakeholders and actors in our society, whether it's the political class, the uh, government, civil society organizations, faith-based organizations, media people and celebrities like Stone Boy, all of us together to be able to deal with this canker. Because truly, let's face it, this is a national problem, it's a national issue, and the consequence of it uh, impacts on all of us. Of course, government must take the lead role, and government will have a much more um, primordial uh, role to play. But the kind of intervention by Stone Boy and others is welcoming. I feel encouraged about it, and I want to commend him highly for this intervention. Mm. Thank you very much. I, I, he has a word for you. So, Stone Boy, your minister says. He, we've done well. I don't know what oh, you have to say to um, him. Thank you very much, Honorable. I'm touched by this because, um, honestly, as it's obvious, this is not like most often it should be politically backed, but it is not. And this tells you that the citizens are listening, you know, to the president's call for us to all participate in actually helping to eradicate or cut down on certain things that affect us generally. And I think it is because of lack of it's because of lack of employment 
in these areas and lack of commitment of the legal mining companies to 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 to, to serve and 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 do what they they promise or they are supposed to constitutionally probably do for these communities because how can cities that produce these minerals that we export to the world and definitely the foreigners gain more out of the least they can do is to make sure the live the livelihoods of the people in those communities are even up high standard than in Accra mm. because mm. they are those that vomit these minerals so but in the in the and you see it's, it's upside down Mm. So it, it hurts, and I'm a, cit I'm a citizen of Ghana and a Ghanaian son and you guys, brother. I have so many fans over there who just want to make ends meet. So the only option is to go in for Kalamse, and it is high risk, it's dangerous. They're dying, they're not using the right tools, and, and we find out that it's mostly the foreigners who are behind this exploiting mm. our land. And so I'm actually in full support of this as, 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 as a well-known celebrity mm. in Ghana and in Africa. So the least I can ask is your support also so that we can all, you know, sound the alarm. Because I can assure you that many people will listen to the voice of Stoneboy and the voice of the musicians easily mm -hmm. than they would want to go and take a tape of the president yeah. at the climate pr program to watch. Mm. So I mm. think this is a great avenue mm. to actually engage your, your son to, mm. you know, Spread the news. Minister, you have the last word on this point. Well, let me, let me just uh, uh, say thank you to him once again for taking that step. The detailed contours of this discussion, I believe we can find an opportunity between myself and him to, to have a, an in-depth discussion on this matter. The matters of employment and the issues of uh, the deprivation in, in mining communities and what we have to do about it. It's historical antecedents and where it began from and how the structures of the mining industry have not been properly constructed over the years, many, many years ago. They didn't begin today. A lot of work has been done now to restructure the mining sector. The issues of local content, indigenization, of the sector itself and seeking to retain the value chain and the tools we've deployed recently through the Minerals Development Fund and the Minerals Income and Investment Fund. And all of those things are efforts we are making to ensure that the indigenous localities and uh, uh, the Ghanaian people get to benefit from the mining industry and these resources that God is giving to us. But those are matters that I don't think we can exhaust on this platform. Mm. Suffice for me to just commend him for the Thank you very uh, much. the step the even the thought and the, the step he's taking mm. in 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 bringing out this song i think it helps all of us must uh, pull our wings together to be able to deal with this i'm saying menace because it affects everybody in ghana mm. and it impacts on our society yeah, Th thanks. thank you we wish you successful deliberations thank you very much. Uh, at the cop 26 i hope we'll see you shortly thank you that was honorable Abu Jinapo, he is MP for Damango, Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. He endorses the campaign. He says he will meet you. Charlie, you're a big man. So when he comes back, you have interactions with Thank you very one. much for the opportunity, I must say. Mm. I'm really grateful. We'll come back to talk more about the Ashaiman story and also <laughs> some of your songs. You know, Suit and Tire, Tomorrow. I like Tomorrow. Mm. I love the video of Tomorrow. I think yeah. that's a summary of the hustler's life. True. Loving in a difficult time. Greedy men is the latest one. There's also a song called Outside, hmm. which is not bad at all. But you know my telele is the best. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back. This is this is the point of view. We're talking to Stone Boy. We just spoke to the minister for Lance. Get greedy men. It's powerful. We'll be right back. This is still the point of view. Today is a special show for Stone Boy. Now, we didn't even know that this tied in with the climate conference. Honestly, when I saw the song, my mind was fully on Galamse, but it's, when the ministers spoke, I saw the full connection, probably because the conversation in Ghana has not been linked to climate that much. It's been more about the, envi the environment and <coughs> livelihoods. But I think there's a clear relationship. Did you know that there was a climate conference going on for which you wanted to release 
this song because it fits directly yes i didn't have an idea i mean mm. i couldn't have because i i mean mm. uh, so i'm I, that's one of the reasons why i'm energized to actually mm. push this because i've had this song for quite a while mm. not more than a year anyway it was recorded around COVID time early this year mm -hmm. you know so first oh, thing around COVID time yeah in lockdown yeah after 2020 anyway like this year early this year okay. um what happened was i saw the um the the, the initiative that was launched the the, the program to um, a, um aid lives in like those, the livelihood the livelihood camp, camp. Yeah. yeah i saw when i saw it i'm like yo this is the vibe you know so if something like this is going on already then it's actually the right sign mm. to drop this song as well mm. because it's been in the pipeline so i'm grateful for the timing because i believe in timing a lot mm -hmm. you know because if you do the right thing at a at the wrong time it might not get the same impact mm. so I feel this what is, is right beam? beam beam was it started as a as a sound okay which i wanted to be known by as a signature tune you know like a slogan you know when you heard stone boy you would you could easily identify him because you're gonna hear some beep somewhere. <laughs> okay. Then I realized that after the song climax dropped, mm. people fancy to call me, hey beep, hey okay. beep. Okay. Then I put a meaning to that because when I look into it, what could that represent? Then mm. I was like, it's bless his imperial majesty, you know, because mm. I'm a God believer. I believe in his imperial majesty, who's mm. the ancient of days, who's mm. God Almighty. So that's beam. beam so that nation. energizes me. So my nation mm. is, is God's nation. You get me? Mm. So it's beam nation. So it's when you say somebody's a top skanker, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, skanker is probably, I think, a Jamaican term. Okay. Like it came out of the word skank, as in skank. Okay. Um, ska music. Ska. Oh, okay. And then okay. if you dance, the steps that they moved onto the ska okay. is like skanking. So Ooh. you see Bomali says skanking. Easy you know, skanking, easy skanking, skanking. Easy. so you're like a skanker, so okay. you're a top skanker. Top like skanker, a, you know, but, top yeah, skanker, you know. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I see, so it means you actually speak Patois. Yeah, I learned. You learned it. <laughs> the Jamaicans love you. I saw one of, I mean, you've done things with Sean Paul, you've done, <laughs> I even saw one of your things with Muta Baruga, yeah, yeah, some spoken yeah, word, Jesse Royal. Like, when did the Caribbean market open to you? I believe the Caribbean market has been opened years and years because mm. of the sim similarity in culture mm. that we share between mm. Africa and the Caribbean. So mm -hmm. reggae music is widely spread throughout Africa. Mm. And we love it, especially for the conscious nature and the informative nature mm. of that genre of music. Mm. Dancehall definitely came across to tone it down a little bit so that it can inculcate other vibes. Mm -hmm. But for the reggae, I think the elderly loved it and that's how we have been open to the Caribbean mm. um, 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 vibe for a long time. Kodu Entries did reggae, mm -hmm. Rocky Dawuni. It's probably before I was born, you know. So I also, I'm just an offspring mm. of what my predecessors actually loved. Mm. And it be, I found out that I was attracted to that vibe the more. Mm. Because coming from the home that I did, I actually took some years away, years to think. I'm like, okay, if I should step into full music, what would be something that my parents could be proud of or what I can do mm. with, with, with pride and mm. with, uh, you know, with bold chest. Mm. I'm like, then I might go for reggae and dance or so that I can actually put in some vibes mm. that people can actually respect. Mm. So what does your dad think how, about, what does your dad think about what you do? Because you used to use his cassettes to, to record your things. Yeah. And I, I'm sure he's, he, he's, he was a, a preacher. Yeah, yeah, he is. So Still. is he happy with you or is he unhappy? Yeah, he's happy with happy me. happy with you. Because I haven't done anything bad. I was only trying as a child to <laughs> express or experiment, you know. Didn't he want you to be a, a man of God like him? I'm still a man of God. I like that. You're a man of God with a, a message. Which is using right. Using a different platform. Which is right. Amazing stuff. You know. So uh, um, I want to just ask you about some, and apart from the song, you do some things. <clears throat> I know you did some beam skills workshops. Yes, please. To teach skills. Yeah. To body entrepreneurs. Why Which did you is do true. that? In, in Ashaiman. In Ashaiman. I started in Ashaiman. I have hopes of going around Ghana, mm. but that was what my strength could hold mm. at the time. Mm. Because like I said, again, time is of essence and the right timing means a lot. Mm -hmm. So when COVID hit that hard, everybody, including myself, was only donating, you know, uh, palliatives and sanitizers. I did that too, but I realized by virtue of my shop in Ashaiman, the proceeds I got that trip, I did all those and 
supported people like I've always did with under the auspices of the Livingstone Foundation. You can see the Livingstone Foundation. So mm. we decided to use the little we have to be like, what can we do next? People have lost their jobs, mm. but they could use this opportunity and the time that is whiling away mm -hmm. to learn some handy skills or some other skills that would better their lives. Should they get back their jobs, they would now have two things to run with because at this point they would need to double up their income to be able to mm. catch up. Mm. And it became out very beautifully. Mm. And I, the reception with which it was, it was, it was, it was accepted, actually blew my mind. So I knew that I've done yet another nice thing for my society, for 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 Ghana, but starting from. So you always my start society. from home, which is a shame, man. Yes. You also so, did something called one house, one toilet. Um, this was an initiative. I think it was a sanitation, you mm -hmm. know, initiative where the uh, I think the um, um, Holland, uh, the Holland, the Netherlands, Dutch, the, the Netherlands mm -hmm. embassy, and myself and that community people in the the leaders in Ashaiman, which are the heads, mm -hmm. the, you know, I joined them to do that. So I was named an, um, um, a sanitation ambassador, mm -hmm. which I also championed to add my voice to, you know, making sure that every home had a very decent... So what were you doing? Were you the one building the toilet or you were educating people about if they put up houses, yes. they have to Thank make sure toilet there? I, at, this junct, at this point, I, I, I was used to educate, mm -hmm. you know, because I believe that we have a voice, so that was what was used. But in the long run, I would also wouldn't mind to, you know, jump into soliciting, you mm. know, funds and helping some people who can actually not afford mm. yeah one of the your songs that really when i play i get a lot of reaction is rango mm -hmm. and i want them to show some of the the the, the images there yeah. I, I mean i think it was 2015 you released yes it please yeah. yeah you were a bit skinny at the time too very very you know, i was, like, I was mm. young yeah yeah, yeah i'm you know. still skinny well then what am i if you're skinny then me then i'm something <laughs> but, but, but this song was wild though i mean what yeah. is i mean yeah look at you now the macho wasn't the singlet and things. Yeah. But the... The looks and the concept <laughs> as well. Still. What, what was this about? It's, it's, same vibes. Mm. I think I had... You see, when, sometimes when the thoughts go through your mind and you, mm. you, you sink, you, you know, you breathe in all the stuff that's going on, mm. um, my type of person always wants to put it on a record, you know, to be able to reach out to a lot of masses. And trust me, this song mm. is one of my biggest songs that has put me on a lot of international platforms from the Reggae Sam Fest to Jamaica. I, yeah, I did Reggae Sam Fest in Jamaica, Summer Jam in Europe. Mm. It took me to a lot of places because the vibe and what I was talking about was very strong. And it's just like me singing about the... Um, the, the, it's like the greedy men now as well. No, but it was, yeah. it was I mean, I saw the lines, call a spade a spade, and don't mm. call it a dagger. Living, Living bigger, bigger at the expense, expense of, a brother, of a brother. You know? It, yeah. when, when did you write this song? This was written quite early. I had written this song like a few years before that. Really? Yes. How old were you when you wrote this song? I should be 22 or something. Are you serious? Right? Yeah, because I've, I have songs written that I haven't recorded. Yet, and really? I think those ones have some because at the time, say you were in SS, so you they go to school, so you did <laughs> wow, you know. Yeah. So, you wrote this at 22, this song, yeah, 22. Yeah. Parts of it, I think I finished and added a verse wow. and, and fine tuned it, but the idea, the skeleton was actually written at that, at that, so at that point. At 22, you were thinking about what will happen if the system jams the injustice, poverty, and what it can lead. Yeah, I, as, a, as, a, as a boy from a shy man, you would wow. be open to those things at the age of one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you, you make a mad, to the motherland a bitter place to live. Yeah. 22. Yeah. Crazy, man. Wow. And then a simple life. We all want to live a simple life, and that's why we're struggling. Wow. And of course, suit and ties. <laughs> yeah, another one featuring <laughs> Kabaka Pyramid from Jamaica as well. <laughs> Is it that the people in the, the ghettos and the lower parts, they, they see sometimes the problems they get being caused by the, we, the educated, suit and tie people? And yet they, for example, mm. some people say when somebody who steals a goat, he gets, he doesn't get bail, he gets 10 years in prison. Somebody embezzles millions of dollars, he will go to court up and down, nothing happens. So is that the feeling? Yeah, that's the reality of, of life as we live, not only in Ghana, but in the world, because... There are classes of people, mm. and it's interesting to know that 
things trickle down from down to the bottom, from bottom to the down. Mm. Yes, when the heat is, 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 is unbearable from the down, it is felt on the top. And when the deals are also f done from the top, it mm. also trickles down to how, mm. you know, to the ground. So I believe that that's how we see things from, 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 from the ground. But it's not necessarily that those, that the clothes, I'm not just, I'm, I'm only use that as a, as a lyrical point, a metaphorical vibe. Of course. Of but course. it's not that anybody who, sometimes I dress in suit and tie. So oh, if I, I decide to I do know, that, I then know, I know. somebody might say, oh, you dress in suit and tie, so you're my problem. Mm. No, I only want to mean that, um, like the minister said, like government must, it's, like, it's, it's, it's supposed to be the starter of whatever it is. Mm. Uh -huh. So same way, Government starts and decides and does uh, and do a lot of things that in the end, those on the ground feel like, look, it's affecting us this way, it's affecting us that way. Mm. You know? The deals they make and the contract they verify leave the streets terrified. Hey, <laughs> this one. <laughs> Crazy stuff, man. But I like, one of the songs I like was Tomorrow. Yep. It, it was... I, I think it was good to use Lydia first. Yeah, one of my favorite. Yo, one of my favorite songs. I called Lydia the night. It, it, it's, it's tonight, right? Like tomorrow morning, I'm going to shoot the video. So I was, I was in my bed thinking about the concept because yeah. that concept was written by myself, hands down. Your own concept. Yeah. Mm. So I was penning it down. Then I'm like, I think I need an actress. Mm. I don't need just, um, you know. So I stepped in the street in the morning. It's like on um, okay. the. Is it Shiashi? Shiashi, Shiashi, Shiashi traffic light. That mm -hmm. morning was shook. People driving by like, ah, What's is that not stop boy holding? <laughs> ah. And again, it was shot by Prince Dovlo. Wow. And Lydia Forsin came out for me. That morning, yeah. she had stuff to do. But she said, ah, you don't go do video. She met me at the filling station on the, on the stretch. Wow. And we just jumped in the street and played the roles. What I didn't release, and I think I regret, is the continuity of the, of the story. So there's actually a, so it's, there's, there's it's, a story. It's done. It's there. Wow. There's an end to it. And the song is loyalty. Anybody yeah. who knows, I will be perfect. People I say loyalty. Mm -hmm. I will know about loyalty. Mm. So the story continues from me and the friend. Oh. So that's a part two. Exactly. But that video must look very old right now. I don't no, know no, if I want to get release it. 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 <laughs> and I like Lydia you because, know? you know, when she was walking away from you, I think you had done something. She was angry. And yeah. you know, the way she does it. Because things. my couple go choke me. Oh. Uh -huh. She begs. Did you wear tie and die? Yeah. <laughs> and it's also about Charlie Ghetto Love, man. These yeah. are hustlers, but you know, I like the hawking and everything. Yeah. It was, it's, it's we really... shot this part in Medina, the the market. This was right on the street, under the street. So I had uh -huh. borrowed people's stuff, like it's real. They were in the, there. So I didn't you actually, take any you prop. actually did, did use their hawking stuff? Yes, I didn't go with any prop. In All the, I went okay. was my shorts and my one wow. of my very old shorts. And because my, you are stone boy. If I go to slap me, say hey, we'll be. <laughs> so wow. So where is this? This was shot. This was also shot at um, UPS. In, so the Madina UPS song. the Madina no side. No wonder I like it. I'm so a we Madina got boy. The, oh, see, I'm see, a see. So boy. we actually use the Madina market, market. You know where? So the story continues where my guy, where you won't do a low make you see, say yeah, you go do smart. <laughs> but in the end, I became successful and then. So this is actually real stuff. traffic. This, this yeah, is real stuff. traffic. So he took the guy's stuff and I took another guy's stuff. Yeah. I actually sold things for them that day, you know. Mm. They actually sold a lot. So, wow. you know, I just gave so, them money So, back it means that you, wow. Wow. So, this part uh -huh. comes from the... The part two. Yeah, and that was shot in the botanical garden as well. So, it was like the Madina... So, this was a Legon... Yeah, Madina... Move, movement. Movement. <laughs> no wonder I like the song. But it, it means you also have directing skills. You are not just a musician. From the way you describe yeah, I'll come I, back, I'll talk about that. Mm. We, are, we are still talking to Stone Boy. We'll take a short break. Um, I don't know if you're enjoying it. I'll read some of your comments yes, as well. We're having I fun. Am. Don't I forget, am. the song is called Greedy Men. And uh, it's about Galamse and its harmful effects on the environment. He's telling us a bit more about what he's done. We're having a, a relaxed conversation. We'll read some of your comments when we come back. Stay tuned. We are still talking to Stone Boy, Stone Boy Livingston, Eche Satekla, who is a, <laughs> uh, yeah, who is a, a dancehall king.
Who, who is your best musician when you were growing up? Me is Bob Marley, obviously. On the reggae side, but I mean, Bob Marley was a bit more old schooly for me. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I was enjoying uh, the Jackios, the Richie Spices. Oh, okay. The, um, the Busy Signals, yes. Mm. Um, the Alpha Blondies. Bob oh. Marley, they will be in Bob Marley. You have a bit of Alpha Blondie vibe, yeah, I, I know. The, I, know. I, I did a song with him when I went to Ivory Coast. I'm grateful for that yeah, Oh, what song was that? It's not released yet. It's on his project. Wow. Yeah. How is he? Actually, is he still? Yeah, he's kicking. It's fine. Coco Su Rasta. Super good. And I've actually done shows with him in Europe. Is so it? you find him in Europe doing some of the biggest festivals. One of his, so. my best songs, Jerusalem. Jer yes. Amen. Oh, so means. he's giving me the, um, I think, the permission to do a remake of Jerusalem. Really? Yeah. Please, when you finish, let me know. Yeah. Because I've never had a cleaner reggae sound. Never, never. I mean, yeah. that, that, that song is... Yeah. Wow, he's giving you the permission to do yeah. that. He actually have a video on that. He actually told me wow. how he wrote the song. A friend of him, a friend of his invited him to Jerusalem. Mm. And he asked what that meant. Mm. And it meant something positive. So that song was actually used by the tourism oh. board in Jerusalem okay. as their, wow. you know, as their song. So that's... That's amazing, you know. So, which you've done so many <laughs> collaborations, so I don't even know what to ask you. Like, <laughs> I mean, I know the Grams Morgan people, you've done stuff with them, you've done um, all, all kinds of things. What's next? What do you want to do again? What, 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 what's, what's next for you in the, in the industry? I mean, we're still growing, you know. We have a lot more to do. My next thing is to you know, be able to send across musical messages and represent for Ghana to the topmost level where mm. I think I, I will become one of the names that would have ever lived to represent, mm. you know, music, arts and culture for my country, mm. which is one of my, you know, because when I see people who have done great stuff for Ghana, that is where my core inspiration comes from. Mm. It doesn't only come from people in the arts, it comes from people in academia, people in different you know, places and spaces. So I only believe that I can get to their heights mm. and I'm not there yet. So me, but musically, I mean, I want to do more songs with... Have you met Buju yet? You know? Yes, I've met Buju. I think he's like the greatest... Um, how do I put it? This is my personal view. Yeah. I think after Bob's group... It's Buju, Buju then. Buju, yeah. Buju, like, yeah. you know, okay, okay, I mean, the number... Yeah. Like Inner Heights. Yes. How does a man do all that in one album? Yes. What inspires him? Do you know? I, I mean, I've, I hanged with him three days in J Jamaica. And this man is, is, is highly, I think he's highly gifted. He's, 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 he's learned. Mm. He's learned. He's learned. He's learned. And then he is very passionate mm. about, you know, black activism, mm. about mm. the truth when it comes to governance and the system. Mm. You know how Babylon, Babylon system, so you know, you He's always want to man. find a way to, you know. <laughs> and on the, and for the fact that he went to prison and is back. Prison and back. How big opposite. is he? I'm told in Jamaica, like when, I hear he's very big. Buju is big. I was there in Jamaica in his house and I saw people come in and now, in and now. And I'm really, ad I really admire him, you know, and I can surely say that when God blesses us, these are some of the people that we yeah. want to be like and yeah. more. Yeah. You know, we had the opportunity of recording a song together. Okay. And it was directing me in a few Is things. It out? No, it's not out yet. And and so you have a lot of things in the pipeline. Yeah. Buju is actually he loves Ghana and probably knows Ghana more than you would think. He believes it's from the north. He knows where he's are you gonna bring him back here? If I have the I could, because it would take logistics. Like this remind this tells you that Beam concert just watch out because I always snap a surprise. But well, if you bring Buju, yeah, there, Beam Charlie. concert is coming on and I, I will smack you guys honestly. Wow! So this Christmas, yes, this Christmas. You, you know, mean us? I I, I hope so, <laughs> so that we can shake off the, the, the first time you know, I saw you on stage. <laughs> the, you know, you, you finished the show, then you took off your singlet and you squeezed the water. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, you are crazy. Anyway, <laughs> let me know if you come. Hello, Ben. Stone boy just made me miss my ex boy B. He was always playing his song whenever I came to visit me. Stoneboy, Sly Baby Loves You. Wow, big All the way from Cove City. 
Oh, you for no leave him before. Oh, aya. Oh, you give him broken heart. Listen to you, big man and stone boy. I sat in the same class with stone boy at Ansco. Whoa, eh? In Ashaiman. Ashaiman, yes. What's his name, please? Tell him to look for me. I am Richard Adro. Richard Adro. No, Richard. Short guy. <laughs> Short fat guy. He uh, was a shark in the class. Is it? Yo, this guy won't come to school. You have one book. <laughs> he will be first. Go home. Go home. When he's uh, first, I will be like fifth. Oh Lord. Then you are not bad. Fifth is not bad. Yeah, but Richard, the smart cast are from. Uh, yo! He says it's now Richard Atta. Yes. And what does it. Yo, and you don't know, but you, are, but you are stone, but you, so you don't have to be. Guys, you don't have to be first to be big. Oh. You can be fifth and it's okay. No, Richard was a blessed shark. <laughs> Hi, Bernard. I am oh. Akron Papa Samuel from Agona <laughs> Suedo. Stone Boy is called Sound God for a reason. Hashtag greedy up. man. Up, up. What does that mean? Sound God? Yeah. I think that's one of the accolades you want to add to me. <laughs> I receive it once it's coming from the people. So you, are the, you are the sound God. Uh, tell Stoneboy's humility is phenomenal. I wish him well. It's a great Thank show. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. I'm getting lots of comments on my phone, so just allow me to, to go through. No, but please, when you see Bujibantin, tell him that meeting. So I'm sorry, Charlie. Uh, as my Stoneboy, if he has an sure. idea of venturing into politics one day, secondly, we would like to represent the people of Ashama one day in parliament. As independent candidate, Prince Henry Kofredia. That's Prince Henry. <laughs> as to independent candidate, yes. yes. But as I say, own party. Being people's mommy, party. <laughs> Being people's B -B -B. party. Being people's party. But I, I, I still believe that, you know, irrespective of, um, you know, I'm still doing the most that I can. It's not an easy place to mm -hmm. want to find yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I may be doing my best at this point, but nobody knows at that point. But we're moving forward mm. and i think i'm trying to do the right things that could even qualify me and beyond mm. for such spaces the couldn't have been a better time to release this at the time the global leaders are discussing climate change in glasgow big up stone boy that's big another up. one coming big in up. for for you i hear you you said some time ago that the only amount you've received in terms of royalties <laughs> in ghana for all your songs is two thousand ghana cities yeah, is it true? and it's true because it was confirmed as well. 2,000 cities yes, since please. you started singing? Yes, please. As royalties? Yes, as In I Ghana? Yes, please. Oh, how? Who, <laughs> who paid that money to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Gamro office. 2,000 cities? Yeah. Did you ask them why, since your music started, only 2,000 is what it has accrued? Um, the thing is, it's not like they called me to just pay me. It's a thing we've been following up on mm. for a while because we all understand the sort of, you know, inactive system there is, mm. whereby you have a lot of people wanting to venture into that space and fix things, but you also find out that they're facing a lot of, you know, clashes and all of that. Mm. So we followed it for a while, and one time when we went through, that was what was accrued over the period of time for me. So from that time till now, I haven't received anything yet, mm. but I'll check again. I think if you follow the news, Gamma officials came to answer a thing or two as if I was fighting them, you know, not knowing that we are all highlighting the issues there are so that both the officials who are seated there and us, the musicians, can be of one voice because we identify the problems that, 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 the, the, we, we know the problems over there. Mm. So why should we now be, should it be like a Gamro against Stone Boy situation? That mm. actually made me sad. Mm. I felt like this was the, this is a yet another opportunity for both the officials mm -hmm. and as the musicians to, to hold the bull by the horn and try to fix something. Mm. You know? So you, you, you finished uh, secondary school, did your music, but you went to UPSA, mm. did a few years, and music took you away. Mm. So you couldn't finish, but you are back in school. Mm. It, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I won't go and tell your lecturer, but I'm told you are back, you are back, you are back doing, what, so what are you studying now? Wow. Public administration. Public administration? Yeah. At Gimpa. Mm -hmm. So you, you did three years at UPSA? Mm -hmm, then what, I, what course was that? Business administration. So your school has always been disrupted by work? So yeah, man. What do your lect so how do your lecturers manage your schedule? Um, I mean, I think that I'm making good friends over there, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and it's getting exciting. This was supposed to be, I don't know who reported me to you. But it will add if more, somebody it said will add more you, because of this me. interview, you are not coming for lectures today. It is true. Ah, so you are studying. So you did three years at UPSA. Now you are doing business at public admin yeah. at Gimpa. So how many people are in your class? 
I think quite a number. So when you go to class, what do they say? Oh, yesterday like this, I went uh, <laughs> late, late tomorrow. So mm. the fans. I have a brother, I mean, one of my brothers, he always says the fanshi. Mm. He calls fans fanshi. The fanshi <laughs> over me. <laughs> <laughs> And your lecturers, so I hope when they look at you and they want to mark you, I mean, when they ask a question, do you, so do you say, let's say, I don't understand or what? Oh, I contribute nicely because I think it's one area that I would love to learn and, wow. and progress in. Because Amazing. It has to do with the public. It has to do with other things. They've started arresting musicians for misbehavior. You know? are, you, are you worried? Um, not only musicians have ever been arrested. Mm. You know, I think um, musicians all over the world they we they, they arrest us quicker <laughs> in other parts of the world okay than some other people mm. you know right the chris browns have been through a lot mm. of people have done community service and swept superstar party in the sweep agogulishi market for the permission and the community service so i think the law is the law mm. yes no matter what the law can take its cause and they say nobody's so are you, are you law, more so. careful Yes, you have to be careful as a person. Mm. It's like when you buy a book, when you buy a white car and a white clothes, you, you have, have to be, be careful. careful. Stone Boy is phenomenal. I'll tell him I love his song, Mighty Lily. Thank you very much. The lyrics much. are deep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the lyrics are some way. <laughs> My respect <laughs> to his wife, Dr. Setekla. Your wife is a doctor? Yeah. Hey. Medical doctor? Yeah, please. Hey. I follow her on Twitter and I love the way she supports her husband's craft. Beam. Big up. I wanted to give the lyrics of my telele, but when the body bo can shout, Kai. when nobody fit to walk past <laughs> my telele, <laughs> say she go give me the body yo, <laughs> she no want your money yo, my <laughs> telele, yeah, them they think you be yaro, but, but you, you carry a ticaro, my <laughs> telele, yeah, telele, telele, <laughs> hey, if you own cargo, <laughs> my telele, I like when you play with telele. My telly, yeah. every year like it. Ah, it that's why I buy it. it. Hey, it things that already have me happy. Every year, every year like it. Yes. Put it in a mouth and she won't bite it. it. <laughs> things that already have me happy. Strike it like a baby. Deal with it, 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 deal so one morning, I'll dirty, I'll dirty myself. <laughs> I'll dirty myself with my telele on the song. Charlie, great stuff. Good having you on the show. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, I wish you well. Uh, we'll see how the song does. Please, when you release any new song, let me know. Thank you very Particularly much. Particularly the Alpha Blondie type. The Which Jerusalem, right. The Jerusalem thing. Yeah. So you're a big man. Say, give some shout to some people. Thank you very much. Your people um, in Ashaiman and things. Because to my people in Ashaiman, you guys yeah, know the vibes. Everybody who's followed us, Beam Nation, to mm. the world and beyond, mm. you know, thank you guys for supporting the music. And this is yet another time to lay emphasis mm. on what we all face as Ghanaians. Mm. Uh, I want to repeat that this is not a song that is targeted at insulting power. Mm -hmm. It is only putting, you know, more light on the, on the issues that we face. And also it's not a song that wants to take livelihood out from the mouth of the youth like myself in, mm. in these areas but it's also throwing light that these are dangerous stuff and also begging mm. companies and governments to actually do what they're supposed to do and make sure that the people mm. have you know a decent Shout. living like myself they go, they do, they, they, they. See, but, but the song I like is I'm a hero. Yes, sir. I'm a if I die today. Eh, eh. Charlie, hey, you inspire me. I tell you. Big, thank you very much. You inspire us all too, you know. Charlie, I'll do a Stoneboy competition next time. You can sing the song. I'll give you uh, this thing uh, Creamy Plus Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. A creamy Plus and a Good Day Energy Drink. Yes, so. And other things. So, Get Greedy Men. It's a great yeah, it's song. The video, Let's yeah. stop Gal. I'm saying now, let's help build Ghana using all our talents. Stone Boy is a great, it's been great having you on the show. Thank you very the much. The business dashboard is next day with City TV. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. The Point of View is brought to you by Cowbell Coffee. Cowbell Coffee. Taste it. Love it. Kel Chaco Toothpaste. Kel Chaco. Happy Smile. Enterprise Life. Enterprise.
your advantage. Bell Aqua Active. Bell Aqua Active. Stay true to originality.